What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, we are going to do a kitchen sink team build. We're also going to have a couple cards from Tops Now, including this Cedric Mullins at 116.97. Going to be very good against right handed pitching, only 79 speed out in center field, nothing like 90 plus or anything too crazy there. Does have gold fielding as well, not much of an arm, only 60 for the arm. This is a uh, Patrick Wisdom with, with Doom. I'm not exactly sure how to say his last name, but he does have a, a very interesting swing. It's pretty good. And he has 105 and 108 on the power. Also 87 and 90. This is one heck of a budget card, especially for a third baseman, which is his natural position. We're going to be playing him over at first base in this team build, but he's got a very good swing and he's got a lot of power and he does not cost very much at all. You can, in fact, get him for free by doing the team uh no the tops now moment so i think this is a pretty good card to be honest with you and uh, i'm gonna use him in this team build and i suggest that you pick him up especially if you got a budget team this is a guy that can really help out your squad has decent speed in the corners too at 62 speed so i do like this card quite a bit we got chipper and jackie up the middle then we got evan longoria i like how evan longoria is really really balanced 60 speed again pretty good for the corner 92 fielding just right out of the box 87 arm balance hitting stats across the board 91 98 91 94 and he also has a pretty good swing he kind of reminds me if i had to think of something as he's like the right-handed version of kyle seager so he's got great hitting across the board he's got a good swing he's got good fielding and he's got pretty good speed too so i do like that evan longoria card ryan braun is probably the most the card that i'm most interested in as far as like the super comp you know side of things especially like with the legend playing because whenever you got 125 125 that's gonna play well on legend obviously uh, because it's high contact and it's high power only 102 78 he's kind of surprisingly fast at 71 overall speed so he's a little bit faster on the outfield than you might think this is a very comparable card to say dante bichette something like that only 64 fielding only 66 arm not very good in that regard but we're gonna play him in left field today uh sean green reminds me so much of grady sizemore like it's almost like this exact same card 99 107 60 95 so at this point in the game we're not really getting the cards that have especially outfielders that have great contact and power versus uh you know great contact versus both sides and great power versus both sides the 60 contact versus left is very low like it just especially with what i play on on legend it's you need every single attribute point that you can get and 60 is pretty low but 99 107 is fantastic and then 75 85 for the arm he does have 85 speed so he has some decent speed but they have he has a very good swing but it's also very similar to great it's very similar to grady sizemore so it's a very very similar card to uh sizemore in so many ways and uh we're gonna play him in right we've also got uh sam huff who i've not tried out yet uh only 80 contact versus right i don't see him very often uh at all in comp games for whatever reason i think it's because of the low contact he does have good power it's not like he has the most amazing swing in the world but he does have a good 90 uh arm and 80 fielding and I don't know i just feel like this is a good time to put him in this lineup to give him a shot we've also got harman killebrew on the bench really low contact i probably won't use him if i don't have to like he'd be number two of who i would bring in off the bench and then i love this eloy jimenez card 98 94 95 125 really solid if we face a lefty i might move sean green to center field and i might put eloy in like right field or left field or move braun to the to the other side regardless he doesn't have good defense either but he's got a really good swing and 94 125 that's very good it's another very good card that's not that expensive that you can pick up uh that would be solid for your outfield especially like just putting him in left field he, again he doesn't have good fielding but his hitting is going to be ridiculous so something to consider there uh pitching wise we're going to use ron, ron gidry and don't worry i'll talk a little bit about fergie jenkins as well because i did use him last night on my stream yesterday i just kind of ran out of time with work and i had to go get my driver's license renewed so i just ran out of time so that's why i'm coming to you with this video here today so uh, i know a lot of you like the videos as well as well as the twitch stream um but sometimes i just don't have time for both i just try to make them work the best that i can and uh 
That's why I use, but I used Fergie Jenkins yesterday, so I'll talk about him in a second. Ron Guidry is an interesting one. Some of the comp players do like Ron Guidry. I have not seen him yet. I have not faced him yet, but it's all about his slider. So he's an 86 mile an hour slider, but he has 96 control on it and 99 break. So he does have that going for him. His pitching, he has a 96 mile an hour four seam fastball, a 94 on the two seam fastball. He has a curveball that's also pretty slow at 80 miles an hour. The curveball is not as good as a changeup, but the curveballs are a little bit harder to hit this year. I don't know. The curveballs and the screwballs, I feel like, are a little bit more difficult. He does have 103 ace for nine, which is good, and he has 92 K per nine. He has 110 stamina, so hopefully he can get through, like, maybe five or six innings. We've got David Robinson as well. I don't know. You don't really need David Robinson. He's got a cutter that's okay. The rest of the control and the pitches isn't very good. Uh, he's got 97 break on the cutter. He's got the cutter and the knuckle curve. It's just nothing really where you are just it's maybe a good card to get if you want to like get a card for your prime collection. But other than that, I, I don't know. 104, 112. I faced him yesterday. I'm not too crazy about how he's going. We got Troy Percival who like nobody uses, but he's got a really funky release and he's got that 12, six and change ups a lot slower than that fastball. We might use him today. Uh, just so you can see him because no one's really ever talked about him. Look how cheap he is as, uh, as well. So he might get knocked around, but I might try him out. It's kind of, it's definitely always easier to pitch on legend. Let's go take a look at Fergie Jenkins. All right. So here's Fergie Jenkins, 117, 90, 100. He's got a little bit of a different motion this year. He's got really good control. Make sure if you use him, you do mix in that four seam fastball because it's his top pitch. So you want to mix in the fastball with the sinker, the slider, the curveball, and the forkball can be really effective he's really accurate he's really not that bad to be honest with you he goes for 66 60 i'd say like if there wasn't supply and demand or whatever it's uh much of a factor i say he's more in that 40k range i don't think he's essential for you to pick up i don't think he's necessarily like a top five guy but maybe give him a shot and see what you think about him all right with all that said let's go ahead and hop into the gameplay all right, we found our opponent in this one. We're going to be facing is Pedro Martinez. I have not really faced him yet. We're going on the road to his created stadium as well. Um, I'm not sure if this is a university stadium. It does look pretty smooth, though. It looks pretty good. He is 95 and 63. Good luck to my opponent. So Cedric Mullins comes up to the dish here. Decent looking PCI, to be honest with you, against Pedro. It's just a dotted circle on the outside from Martinez. Ron got a little bit jammed there. He's more of a gap to gap hitter with his, uh, you know, when he faces a righty. I'm going to show you something else I might check out real quick here, being in his created park. One thing you can do is you can hit start. You can go over to the stats. You can go over to the game log, and you want to see what the elevation is so it says college world series 1250 foot elevation so that's not a ton of elevation for example my park has like 5000 uh it's like coors so that's not a ton of elevation at all meaning so the ball is not going to carry as much here it does look like sean green has the shift mm, that was a mean cutter a lot of break on it we go down on strikes there all right ron gidry on the hill start him off with that slider it's got some break Let's go back to that it's gonna be our main pitch that had some wicked break too let's go back to the fastball off that get him a strike out dotted on the outside with the four seam fastball dante bichette coming in for sean green for my opponent he used to pitch with ron gidry all the time as far as uh it was because of mlb the show 17 i had to grind out a ton of innings online with ron gidry so i do remember him quite well so it's just like you know, four years later using him again with pinpoint just missed on that let's go to this two seam on the outside two seam had a little bit of break to it let's go back to the slider on the inside it's gonna be a pop-up to ryan bronze he's a little bit faster but he's not like a great fielder out there by any stretch 
Longo step it in. They used the gold Longo a lot. I believe in like the first event of the year that had Cabrera and John Smoltz. He's got a pretty quick swing. Like he's got a, a quicker swing than you might think. Like even right there on that pitch that I missed. Pretty solid. I have seen him a little bit on the competitive scene as well because he has such good defense. That's a good swing from Longo right there. That, that felt great. I, I like this card a lot. All right, here's Wisdom. He has that toe tap. Man, this card is glitchy. That card is glitchy. I'm telling you, you want a good budget card, go check out that Wisdom card because... Oh my, that was blasted. You know, and this is the first time that I've seen this uh, Pedro Martinez card as well. Just never really see him. And I'm not really sure why. I think he, he reminds me so much of that Quinn Pryster card. Fergie's got a little bit of this as well. I mean, there was a cutter. I didn't even realize he had the sinker in the cutter. I don't know why I haven't seen him. It's just the per nines. All over that one as well. High and inside fastball. Jackie takes that out for a home run. But I think it's a it's a per nines. Like my PCI feels at like a good size. Three runs quickly here. I love this stadium. I don't know who made this, but I love this stadium. This is like one of the better, more chill stadiums that I've seen. On the ground for Chip. It's going to be right there to get the out. Is that Simeon in second base? Yeah, I think so. All right, Sam Hubs first at bat. He's real tall. He's 6'5". Obviously, he'd be better versus a lefty. He's got a real quick swing when I did a swing test. He just basically moves his hand to the ball. Almost golfed that out. We really almost got that out for a home run. Not the not the worst swing ever. It's a little bit off of the PCI that pulled a foul. A little bit late on that fastball. Just inside of that cutter, eye of the tiger. It's gonna lead to a walk. Ron's gonna get up here, and it's all about the steal and the bunt here with the pitcher. The sacrifice hold over on the right stick. Oh, that's a beautiful. That's a really, really good play by Martinez. Gidry does get there. At least we stay out of the double play, so it's important. Now Cedric Mullins gets another shot. Oh, that was not a good or bad or a swing, but we do get three runs in that one. Kind of left a curveball in the middle. He was just very early and multiple times on the slider, so I threw him a curveball hung in the middle and he just really didn't make good contact on it. Gonna get the strikeout on Tommy. He's a problem versus lefties. This Gidger, because the slider's so good. I'm throwing a lot of sliders. Okay, he smashed that one that time. That one kind of hung in the middle. That's his first, like, great swing. Gave him a fastball. He hit that one pretty well, but Palson only has so much contact or so much power is what I mean. So we got the out there. I took a mighty cut at that and missed it. It was such an easy pitch to hit. Certainly not swinging at that pitch. 3-0. and Let's go Longo. Hmm. Just missed that. Just missed that. It, the cutter cut just enough. That was a good swing. All right, let's see what Wisdom's got. <laughs> the beast. Whoo! I was on that. I actually used this card in a BR run when he was a common. He didn't even have a picture in MLB The Show 19. And now he's beasting. And he beasted for me back then. He had a lot of power. I struck out there. It's kind of swinging at everything, but it's it's crazy to see him now just doing what he's doing. Gonna give him a strikeout. Martinez is up. Gidry's been pretty clean so far. One perfect, perfect base hit. Gidry is a pitcher I feel like I would hit real hard 
but if you do use them you have to pitch real cerebro with them you have to mix up the pitches you use you use a slider but you have to mix up like pitches and location like all right i'm gonna throw a fastball high and inside here it's not as simple to use this card as it is to say someone to use like sinker cutter sinker sinker cutter you know like you gotta like actually mix it up and pitch with him so by that same token though i don't really he's being effective right now but i don't necessarily like recommend him but he's getting it done right here <laughs> he is getting it done good aim there it's all about the aim it is all about the aim jackie's gonna get on Find yourself in a slump. It's just all about the aim. Just focus on. Don't worry about the swing, or anything else. Just put the PCI on the ball. Win the mini game. Win the mini game. Win the mini game of. I already hit right into a double play, but win the mini game of the pinpoint meter and win the mini game of putting the dot from the PCI on the ball. Let's go, Sam Huff too. Do we can knock one out here? Back up the middle. Simeon's got that though. Strike out on a pitch down the middle. He kept taking that slider inside off the plate. He dropped on that one badly looking at his feedback. Could not lay off the slider that time. And we are throwing a ton of sliders. Like we are really spamming the slider. Another strikeout. Ron to the left side. Don't think he's going to have a chance to get there. Couple of steps short. Not a bad swing for him. Made contact with like pretty much every pitch there with him. So far, Mullins is 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. Oh, that is pitch. I fouled off one right down the middle and I swung way over the top of one over the middle. Ryan Braun, right on right. It's going to stay at one. Got me on the slider inside. He's not giving me many fastballs. I'm really like sitting on the fastball. Because that's what we hit our home runs on. Our first bunt dance right there. Is Gidry really getting into his head like that? Another strikeout for Ron. Another strikeout for Ron. I went with the backdoor slider, but we didn't just we didn't get it. Got the fastball for a base hit up the middle. We really want to get this out of Santana here because we want to keep Martinez in the game. And most likely, if we can get this out, oh you sitting too much on that slider and Santana takes him yard. I should have gone to something else. He's going to keep Martin. I want Martinez to stay in the game. I don't want to face his bullpen like a Chapman or something like that. We we're down to like two strikes on uh, Powson too. Almost out of the inning. And then he just gets a base hit and then a home run on that dang slider. Pedro Martinez is getting hits now. What's happening? All of a sudden, maybe he's seeing Ron well. Who's up now? Biggio? All right, there's a good matchup for Ron. I love that in the middle. It's a prayer if it goes foul. He crushed it. We're going to be... Oh, Jackie didn't pick up the ball. Ron might be knocked out of the game. That was it really... I guess he's not. I think that's it for Ron. All of a sudden, he just started crushing Ron. All right, we're going to go to David Robinson. Robertson, excuse me. Give him a shot. Huge dotted slider. We need to get out of that with with maintaining the lead. That was by far his best thing hitting. Oh. I'm all over those last two pitches. I'm all over those last two pitches. He needs to be careful. 
Felt like I was all over that too. I don't know how I moved it that much. I thought I was right on it. Longo all over it. Deep center, it's gonna stay in. Wisdom staring him down. Way out in front. Oh! How was that just hanging up in the air, too? Wow, that was a weird trajectory for the ball, wasn't it? I mean, that really could have been strike three. Oof. Ah, I didn't quite get it, but I really was on it, man. That's tough. That's tough. We're putting, we're putting some good swings on the ball this inning. Nice base hit from Jackie. Let's go. Very early. Didn't try to do too much, though. Big guy bad right here for Chipper. We can take the momentum back in a huge way with like a home run. He just scored last inning, you know. Ball four. We went after it anyways. Jones is out. By uh, his foot was in the air, but it had not quite hit the bag. Man, this game's taking a while. Because I feel like it's the eighth, but it's only the bottom of the sixth. Pop up the center. Mullins is there. Oh, and two, we go with the changeup. I didn't feel like I was that off on the changeup, and we hit Vlad Jr. right in the kneecap. Oh, that's a big hit right there. That's a big hit right there. I'm taking Robinson out. I am taking Robinson out. This guy's about to get real angry, too, because Cheeseball McGee's about to come into the game. We'll get Percival later in the... We got to shut him down here. He hasn't seen anything like this so far in this game. He's going to go with the bunt. I like it. And he's going to beat it out at first. No, he's not. I like it. He got crafty and went with the bunt. I did not expect that. <sighs> got him to pop up there. Long goes under it. I like that bunt. People don't bunt enough. I know it's like people get worried about bunt cheesing. And people really don't bunt enough. You got a superstar lineup. It's hard to like lay down a bunt, but sometimes you got to manufacture a little bit. Scrap across some runs, especially on legend. I like so I like that bunt there. That really caught me off guard. It was effective. It got the run in. That's what counts. If you bunt too much, it'll bunt it right at people though. Oh, I thought I crushed that with Sam Huff, bro. I thought I crushed that. I had the tiger on that. I got a low and in fastball. I'm probably going to pop out on that because I was late on it. I saw it well, but I saw it late. I swung late. Mm. Let's leave the cap in for another inning. Hopefully you can get a base hit. Martinez is up to 106 pitches. That was a cookie right in the middle and we pop out. All right, Cedric Mullins. What you got here, bro? Cedric's made some like awesome catches recently for Baltimore. The reason he got this card as well is he, I think he had a streak of like going like eight for eight to the plate, maybe nine for nine, something crazy. He was balling. That's a shot right there, but not quite on it. I thought I was more on it than uh, apparently I was in the feedback. Three to three, good game. Gonna have to shut him down here. Santana had a home run, so he's done some damage. We got him flipped though to the other side. I started attacking the strike zone there more because I could feel him just like taking pitches. Like I was putting in some good pitches. He wasn't swinging. It's like, man, he's taking all the way. Martinez is out. He's going to Otani. Let's go. That slider's fast. That's where we want to be. 96 on that sinker. We left that in the middle. Got away with that. He's fouled off some tough ones. Can we get him on the slider here? Yes, we can. All right. 
to the eighth. He's going to Darren O'Day. I did. I, I I didn't know what to say there because it's almost like I was about to. I, I was more of a check swing than anything. That was very fortunate to be a base hit. Trying to think of who we have on the bench. We have Soriano for Braun. I'm gonna put him in because we can possibly steal this base. See how he reacts with Darren O'Day on his first pitch. Kind of trying to get him to throw out. I'm going to steal on this one, though. Got a good break. I did not get to slide. I am holding it. I am holding it, but I did not get to slide, unfortunately. Might have held it too early. Is that going to be a base hit? Vlad is charging. We're there. We're there. All right, kind of in the same spot. Is Longo up? All right, Longo's up. I've been swinging well with him all game. That is, I don't know. We're gonna have the runner on second. That's what that is. Man, I wish we got that stolen base. Wisdom coming up, huge spot. Ooh. Mmm. He just p uh, pitched like crazy there. Just threw dot after dot after dot got me. Great pitching. I guess kept staying out there for a little bit longer. Gotta get the strike out. Who is gonna blink first? He got a good swing on that. He got a real good swing on that. Soriano out there to make the catch. He's had some really, really good at bats. Like he sees the ball well. Got him on that uh, screwball there, though. Ninth inning. Oh, he left us a cookie on two and zero. Oh. I don't know. That has a chance. It might be right at the warning track, though. All over with the PCI at the warning track. It dies. Ooh, he had to be sweating on that one. Jones. Perfect, perfect. What does Sam Huff have here? What a big moment for Sam Huff. Three and two count. Sam Huff. I think he got all of it. Sam Huff. In a huge moment. Goes and gets a home run for us. All right, we're gonna go to Eloy too, because we want to try. I want to show you this Troy Percival. What a huge home run for Sam Huff! Takes Darren O'Day deep. He's gonna go to Ryan Tepera. Eloy, he really hit that one good. Look at my PCI placement on that. It's tough right there. It's very strange that they play this shift on Mullins as well. I just noticed that because I fouled one off down the left field line. Like, it's wide open for a bunt. I'm still swinging away. We got two strikes. I'm too nervous. But, man, it's wide open. And plus, you got Vlad uh, Vlad Jr. It's not like he's going to be making some crazy play. I was right down the middle. Mullins. Soriano up now. Plays Braun because we needed the base runner. Pretty good pitch. Two strikes. I wanted to protect that. We're going to be out. All right. Troy Percival, can he lock it down for us? Facing uh, Tommy right off the bat. Facing a couple lefties, really. But we'll see if he can get it done. I really feel... Watch his release. I feel like it's kind of underrated. You never really see this car, but I feel like he might be a little bit better this year than you might think. But hopefully, uh, I don't live to eat my words on that. See how funky that is? He's doing a little bun dance. I think he went on that. Ooh, he did not. All right, then. It's on the ground. Jones, he's got it. <laughs> I like it. He's been a, such a good shortstop for me this year. 98 on that pitch. And here's the changeup. That drops. It's 84. That was actually faster than I would have liked. How about this curveball? 
Ooh, I know that looked a little weird because it kind of lagged a little bit. Uh, but that's so it looked a little bit weird on our end, but that was a nasty curveball. And a pop up to the right side. Green's going to coast into that. And we're going to get the win with the Kitchen Sink 2 team build. Pretty fun game right there. It's nice to just kind of switch it up and use some different cards too. The cap, we had to like, we had to bust out the cat too, but. Hey, that's why I like the, the pitching, man. Got us through some innings we needed. That ball was smashed. That ball from Wisdom was smashed. Let me know if I'm saying his name wrong, because I think it just seems like it's too simple for it to be Wisdom. But I, maybe it is, and I don't know. Sometimes I just mess up pronunciations. And that was a strikeout of him from O'Day. Carlos Santana killed that ball, too. Sam Huff, the hero of the game, Sam Huff. Has he earned himself... Possibly a spot on the God Squad with that. Like, that was a huge hit for Sam Huff. I enjoyed that. All right, fun game. Thank you so much for watching. I'll check in the next one. And until then, peace out.